Welcome to my lesson to explain PAG5, determining glucose concentration using the colorimeter. The aim of this experiment is to use a quantitative test to determine the concentration of glucose in an unknown sample X. We will be using known concentrations of glucose to draw a calibration curve of absorbance against concentration. The absorbance will be measured in a colorimeter. We use a quantitative Benedict's reagent as this gives a white precipitate which centrifuges out to leave a colourless solution rather than the original brick red precipitate left behind by the normal Benedict's reagent. Before we can start the experiment, we need to use the 1% glucose solutions to make up solutions of 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0.1% glucose solutions by the process of serial dilutions. To make serial dilutions easier, it is often best to make the solutions up to a volume of 10 millilitres. So for this first one of making 0.8% from 1%, 0.8% is 80% of 1%. So 80% of 10 millilitres is 8 millilitres. And then we make up to 10 millilitres with 2 millilitres of water. It is then much easier because we're going from 0.8% to 0.4%. And 0.4% is half of 0.8%. So we add 5 mils of 0.8% glucose and 5 mils of water. We then repeat this to make 0.4 into 0.2 and for 0.2 into 0.1% glucose. Label the seven test tubes 1.0, 0 0.8, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.0 and then another test tube X for your unknown concentration. Add three centimetre cubed of the corresponding glucose concentration to each tube. Put three centimetre cubed of distilled water in the 0, 0.0 tube and three centimetre cubed of the unknown glucose solution in the X tube. Then add three centimetre cubed of the quantitative Benedict's reagent to each tube. Place all seven boiling tubes into the boiling water bath and leave for five minutes. Then remove the boiling tubes from the water bath and stand them in a rack to cool. You are now going to centrifuge the solutions. Pour each solution into a labelled centrifuge tube. It does not matter if any precipitate in the boiling tube has started to settle out. Make sure you balance the centrifuge by placing 4 cm cubed of water into an empty centrifuge tube and placing into any empty centrifuge tube holders. You will then centrifuge all of your tubes for one minute, ensuring that every tube has a balancing partner opposite it in the rotor head. Seeming as the coloured solution you are testing is blue, set the colorimeter to red light and use distilled water as a blank to set the reference for absorption. Carefully pipette the clear solution from each centrifuge tube and place in a relevantly labelled cuvette. Start testing each of the solutions, making sure to reset with the blank between each of the solutions. Start with a 0.0% glucose concentration. Then move on to the 0.1% solution. Then the 0.2% solution. Then the 0.4% solution. Then the 0.8% solution. Then the 1% solution. Then X, the unknown concentration. You now need to draw a calibration curve of your results so that you can use your calibration curve to find the glucose concentration of the unknown glucose solution and finally record this.
And so you can see, the final result for X is 0.65% glucose. So you have now learned how to do the quantitative test for reducing sugar using a colorimeter.